Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see chapter 4 implementing task control. So, in this uh, you know chapter, we will be looking at uh, writing loops and conditional task. So, uh, generally, a simple loop means it will iterate a task over a list of items. So, we will see a simple exam for that. So, I am writing a simple playbook. Simple loop.yaml. Okay, generally, uh, so now let's look at a uh, couple of services how we can you know uh, restart uh, or start the services so here we can put host so i'm using server b dot com and task so uh, we can you know we used to use the module service So I'll be checking the force fix service. So we can use the service module and the name force fix state started. And similarly, if I want to check uh, or start the another service, I need to use the service module again. For example, firewall D. So here again, I need to use the service module. Okay, so in this case, uh, we will be, uh, you know, using service module twice. Let's say if we have another service, we will be again using the service module to mention that, uh, you know, service and uh, start the service in case if it is not starting so instead of uh, using this method now we will be using the loops using that uh, you know we can just mention the service once and uh, use the loop where we can specify the number of services or the list of services that we want to start so i'm going to remove all of them fix and firewall the service running so here i can specify service module and uh, name so here i'll be using the item keyword and state started that means if the service is not started it will start the service but in case if the service is already running then it will not do anything and next we will be using the loop keyword so using this we will iterate this loop so i'm using the force fix and firewall d so here uh, we are not using the service module multiple times using one time we can you know uh, list uh, the number of services that we want to start okay syntax check Now I'm going to run the playbook. Okay, nothing has changed because uh, the services are already running. Let me log into server B.
I'm just stopping the firewall services here. Okay, now it is not running. So now let me execute this playbook again. And now you can see that uh, one changed. So firewall D has started. Now you can see on server B, firewall service is running. Okay, next we can see an uh, sample playbook where we can use the um, uh, like we can use these as a variable as well for example let me write a, a different playbook so the list of whatever we used uh, in the previous playbook that can be provided by a variable as well simple loop dot yaml simple loops using variable you can give any name and host serb.acg.com and uh, here I'm using the vars and specifying the services for example I'm mentioning mail services under which I am mentioning the list of mail services here postfix and Firewall D I'm using and task force fix and firewall D are running and use the service module and using the name item and the state okay here we'll be using the loop here we'll call the variable mail underscore services okay previously we have listed the uh, value under the loop and uh, now we are specifying under the wars okay let me run the playbook Okay, since uh, these services are already running, we see the OK message. Okay, so the loop list does not need to be a list of simple values. We can, you know, also use the uh, different methods like hashes or dictionaries. So uh, let's see that in this uh, next example. Let me clear the screen. So here I'll be using the hashes or dictionaries to use the loop values. So let me create the new playbook. Simple loop three dot YAML. Okay, so here three dashes and specify the name simple loop with hashes or hashes or dictionaries and 
so we will be uh, also looking in how to use the var file to specify the values okay let's execute this server c dot ach dot com let's use a wars file so let me create some war file with some user list okay i have the user list file already let me create a new user list so here i'm going to user list name q1 uid and similarly name q2 and uid okay so i will be creating couple of user from this file okay let's mention that here user list okay next uh, task so here let's create a user using name and a group field users exist and or in the correct groups so we'll be using the user module to create the user name item dot name state present and we'll be adding that user into this group item dot groups okay under the loop we will be specifying the user details name jack and groups will so it will create a jack user and add it to the wheels group okay next create the second user name called joe and add it to the root groups okay and uh, next we will be creating couple more user from the user list file okay so here create users from wars files list okay here again we'll be using user module and name will be item dot name and uid item dot uid state present okay and in the loop we can specify 
user list okay make sure this user list we specified in this user list i'm just cat out that file to iphone user list you see that we provided user list so make sure we need to use this for the variable name okay and uh, in the previous example we have just uh, mentioned only the item because uh, here we have uh, you know name and uh, group fields so we need to particularly specify item dot name means it will take the value from this one and uh, item dot group means it will take the value from this group value previously we just mentioned only the uh, you know uh, single value so we have not you know specified uh, item dot name or item dot group okay now let me run this playbook okay we can see that uh, on server c it has changed u1 u2 and uh, looks like uh, jack and joe is already there so it has not made any changes okay you can run the uh, add hoc command ansible server c.acg.com id u1 okay we get the result and similarly u2 Okay, now we can see that uh, using the loops, we can create the multiple uses. Okay, so we have seen how to use the loop in different methods. Okay, that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.